us. Um, I'm trying to find my time. You can come close. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kara's like, what? <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get, we're gonna get the, the uh, mic, or we'll all gather around closer. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, that's cool. Okay, well, we're very, 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 very high tech or low tech today? I can't decide. I think we're super high tech. Uh, we're a mixture of super high tech. But I, like, hurt my eyes. So is that, like, no, actually, you know, I just started telling people that I was a, I'm a cyborg in my eyes in the shop, and I don't want anybody to know, except that I told them. So, um... If you out there and you want to tweet us a question at Watch Me Work. Yeah, so we are at Watch Me Work SLP. So if you tweet at us, the hashtag is new play. And also throw hashtag HowlRound in there because there are wonderful hosts. Can you spell HowlRound? H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. That's very tricky. See, Howl Round. Howl. Not w. Howl Round. Like some people think. Right. right. Okay, now that everything has been clarified for us. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to work for 20 minutes again today and then we're going to take questions about your work and your creative process. And I usually work on the typewriter, but today I did a lot of typing and I have some notes from some really fancy producers in Los Angeles. So I'm just going to try to incorporate those notes into my message. Uh, no, we can't do that. <laughs> After the public theater, we're gonna go home, <laughs> and we're gonna watch. Uh, we're gonna. It's okay, but because it's gonna be dark outside, that's why. So as you see, we're real busy over here, and um, there it is. There's my timer. Okay. We're up with the mic. Oh yay! I don't have to strain my voice like I did last time. Okay. Now we're really high tech. Yes. Here we go for 20 minutes. Thank you. Here we go.
conference, we're a small group today. And thank you so much for giving us your time. Show tomorrow. Show. I know. <laughs> so am I. No, so, to, so the idea of, oh, have you been to watch me work? Oh, no, I haven't explained it. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't give a preamble today. Um, so what it is, is we sit here and work together, obviously, which is what we just did. What's your name? Tamara. Tamara. M-A-R-A. Okay. Oh, hi. Hi, Mara. Uh, so we sit here and work, and then we talk about your work and your creative process. So the the Watch Me Work in the title is actually about you. So this is a time when I basically hang out in the lobby of the public theater, um, giving people uh, you know, constructive feedback and encouragement on their whatever it is they're working on, whether it be a, a play, a novel, or so on, or you know, some woodworking project that they might have. You know, stuff like that. The letter D. Some of us are working on the letter D. So, uh, but uh, what do you work? What do you work? I'm working on a, a rewrite of a screenplay. Oh, very good. And they gave you feedback on the first 15 pages? Yeah. Oh, oh, and not the whole screen. Not the whole thing. But you finished the whole screen. Yes. That's very, that even, that's even trickier. Yeah. So did everybody hear of Mara's? She's, she's done several screenplays. And yeah. So that's tricky. So um, how are you going to go about deciding? Okay. So the way I did it originally was I started out with like two pages of setting up two, the two lovers. Right. And then jumped up five years, right. which is really where the whole thing takes place. Right. And people said, why not start right with the current day? Right. And then liked the other piece to give it to us in a brief flashback a little bit in after you've already drawn us in with the main action. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. I think it's a good idea. I think that sounds good to me. Sure. Sure, sure. And is, is how they fall in love and get together, like, incredibly unique? Or, like, oh my god, you never believe it. No, actually, no. It's just setting up the fact that she eventually gets killed. Uh-huh. And, of course, it's a great place why you just want to set up the fact that it was this earlier relationship. Right, right. Right, right, right. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, but I want to set up the fact that these two were really in love uh -huh. years earlier. Uh -huh. So the question is whether I show that they were in love years earlier before you see the main part, or if we just do a quick flashback and then it's a new story. But yeah. I think you have to actually see the fact that they loved each other before they hated each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So or just get, get bits of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the most of it they hate each other. Right. Sounds like a good screenplay. I'm excited. Yeah. What's the title? American Casino. Oh, I love the title. That's great. I worked in creating rooms for a long time. They're really like casino. They're like the Huh. Wow. So wow. <laughs> yeah, with other people's money. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. remember what it was. What was it? Um, he told me that I had a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, because I just kind of went on all over the place. I kind of like, but I thought I was just doing it for the reaction. And so, it was sort of like, I don't know if it was sort of. 
right. Podcast. Right. So I actually ditched the screenplay that I was working on yet last week, and I ditched the revision to the short story to go back to a novel that I have in progress because that's really what I want to be working on. So I'm working on what I want to be working on. Very good. Excellent. So do you have a um, a, a finish line? Do you have a finish line? Um, no. Watch them go, they're loading the ice into the, uh, <laughs> um, and if, if you want to, Matt can zoom the camera in on the area downstairs and we can watch the work down there because someone is working very hard down there, getting that ice ready for all the work so people are going to come and see the thing. So, um, thank you. Okay. So, uh, should I, should I give myself one? Well, so have you ever heard of um, uh, the New York City uh, Marathon? Yeah. Great. They ran it Sunday, right? Yeah. So um, what are two things that you know about that race without even having, did you watch it? I didn't watch it. What do you know about it? I know. Three things, actually. Three? Yeah. I know um, it always takes place in the fall. It's usually colder. Where does it take place? Um, I'll give you a hint. New York City. City. But it, it was in Brooklyn this year? Was it, it was in, in New York City. Right. It's yeah. in New York. Yeah, it's the New York City Marathon. Yeah. Right, it's in New York City. Right, okay, that's one thing. And it's a New York City. Oh, it's they run the whole New York. And it's a marathon, so what do you know about it? So th there is like a time limit attached to it. A, a, a distance limit. A, di distance, a distance, distance limit, yeah. right? So there's a finish, there's a, and there's a finish line to, right. to, to indicate the distance, the end of the distance, right? Yeah. So you've already passed your starting point. You've already gone across the, what do they do, the marathon and arrows bridge, whatever, right? Uh -huh. You've done that part. So a finish line helps. If there were not a finish line and it weren't called the marathon, those people would still be running. <laughs> those fabulous Kenyans who run, who won yesterday. Would they be still be like, whoa, what? There's no right. finish line, right? Right. And they know when to stop. So we call it a marathon. <laughs> and we give them the finish line. And we say New York. So they know like, you know, what it is. Right. So, so yeah, it's a good idea. Okay. Finish line. What, what kind of a finish line? Well, how do you want? I, well, this is my issue. I, I want it tomorrow. I want, want it tomorrow, I want right. to work 40 right. hours. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 40 hours. You want it done now. And I want it done now. Yesterday. So, I need, I need somebody reasonable. Somebody reasonable. Um, well, <laughs> to help well me I mean, I'm just trying to balance my both my legs on this pole. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Somebody reasonable. Um, <laughs> so, how long is it, do you think? Um, I want it to be a pretty, like, it started as a novella, but I think it's much longer. So, how many pages? Uh, 300? I want, I, want shoot, I want to shoot between 350 and 5. 350 and 5, type pages, manuscript pages. W, double P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, manuscript pages. Yeah. Okay, so, so, let's just say 500 pages. So, how many pages are you going to write today? Um, Let's go. Oh, my favorite show right now is called The Odd Squad. Okay. We watch it quite often. It's on PBS Kids. Anyway, so the, when things get rough, they say, "Let's go to the, the math room." I like that. So let's go to the math room. A freelance as an accountant. So let's go to the math room. So okay, June. Okay. Let's go to the math room. So okay. 500 pages total. Okay. How many pages are you gonna do a day? Well, realistically. Yeah. I could probably. I could probably get between three and five done. So okay. let's say two. <laughs> Realistically. I Sorry, I know. I know. Just send me hi. How are you doing? Welcome back. Write two. Two pages. Two pages a day. Two pages a day. Which is a lot. Because you have a life. Right. Okay? I mean, I'm just guessing. Right. Okay? Right? I mean, you got some, something. Right? Okay? Two pages a day. So, okay. How long do you think it's going to take? Like three hours? Okay. Write right. two pages a day. Um. That's okay. about right. Great. Okay, great. So, so we've gone through that. So now, so you've got 500 pages, two pages a day. How many days is that? 250 days. Huh? 250 days. 250 days. Okay. So when's that? Just if you kind of sort of what? 
What are we looking at? November, December, January, February, March. I'm looking about nine months, right? April, May, so it's like May. Like May May day. Yeah. May day. How about Saturday? How about April Fool's? There's a good deadline, right? So we just kind of scooched it up a little bit. We had a little bit of like, ha, 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 ha. For draft one. For okay. draft one, you write two pages a day. So that means you go home, and you print out a calendar, and you go buy a calendar if you want to spend some money. Uh, account, well, you know, because it's colorful and you pick like Hello Kitty or whatever. And you, every day you say, check, you wrote your two pages, and that's like your novel writing calendar. And all you have to do is show up for three hours a day and write two pages a day. And do it every day. And some days, oh my gosh, you're going to write like 10 pages, and you're going to be like, hi, and you're going to be like, yeah, now I'm going to be done. Now, and then some days you won't want to write at all. It's more important to just write two pages a day. Right? Yep. Okay. And you might find, oh, it's only 150 pages or so. So you get it done faster. Mm -hmm. But April, April Fool's Day. So she's like, oh, it's such a long way off. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to practice patience. Right. I look at him because we work on him. I'm, I'm more like him. Well, he, can you make the letter D? Yeah. Okay. So you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> you work on all the letter D. <laughs> Okay, so you got the letter D down. Okay. Yeah, all right. And you can write your name. <laughs> you can add and subtract. It doesn't count. Right? <laughs> That's good. Okay, but is that, it seems like a long way away. But no, and, and that's kind of, but it's reasonable. It's reasonable. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you just keep chugging along and enjoy yourself. Yeah. Okay? And then after a couple of months, you go, oh, this is good. I'm going along fine. Then maybe, maybe you kick it up to maybe three pages a day. You know, that's why we kicked it up to April Fool's Day. So it's actually a shorter time than two pages a day. Okay? Good. And, and what it also leaves you a little space for is <laughs> other projects that might, that might interest you. Right. Pop into my brain. Right. You're just dating, you're not married. Right. 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 So try, give it a try for a week, try it on, see how it feels. Um, I, I don't know, are we here next, no, next week there's an event here, so we're not here, we're not here. But but the following week, yes. we're here, yes. right. Okay, so follow, yes. so try it on for a couple weeks, see how it feels, come back, tell us, you know. Sure. Okay? Thank you, guys. Good Thank job. You. Welcome. Anybody else have any questions? It happens a lot of times. We write a draft, we put it down, and we take a look at it a little later on, and you feel like, I hate it. But what you said, correct me if I'm wrong, you said, I hate it. I hate all of it. I hate, I totally hate it. Well, like 30%. So, June, you're an accountant. 30% to all of it. I mean, what are we talking about now? 30%, it's 30% the majority of the script. We're looking at a third. Thirty yeah, percent is kind of a third. So, right. Exactly. Which, which I'm now convinced that, that it's, it's it's an inside job. Your mind, your mind, Gethsemane is 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 on a rampage and is like is is um, clouding your judgment. Seriously, right? So, I'm glad you came here because. To say I hate the whole thing, it sucks, it's awful. It's not working, that's a lot. It's not working, that's a lot. You're sort of, uh, what we call, like, uh, catastrophizing. You know, you're sort of, it's not, it's not bad, it's just something that you do. And it's like, you know, your thing. It's just, you can turn it into, I always say, turn your thing into the change. You can make, you know, make it your thing. 
and so it's going to be brief. Okay? But in the meantime, what are you going to do when you read your thing that you wrote and all you can feel is, gosh, 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 I don't like it so much, right? Um, do you have a, a good friend who can read it and maybe give you positive feedback? Yeah, I have a friend coming over to read it on Wednesday night, and then I'm going to Chicago, and I'm going to uh, bully another friend <laughs> to read it. Good, good. Bully, like bribe? Pay? Bribe. Bribe. I will give you the best bottle. <laughs> There are seventy. There are seven things on the table out of ten that I actually like, which means that most of it you like. So could you just say, just to practice, say, I I wrote this draft and I reread it, and there are like three things I don't like, but seven things I really think are great. Could you just practice that? Sure. Like you're doing this because this is a play, so we're doing some epic. I wrote this draft. Uh huh.
So she says, hi, I'm only a few pages into my first draft, writing out of order, and now I hear voices I couldn't hear before, but now I'm feeling that what I'm writing is not what I'm hearing. And her character suffers from something traumatic that is almost that almost breaks her, but she's still too strong. How does she weaken her? How do I deal with that? Oh, okay. Um, Crystal, and I think it's, maybe it's the same Crystal. Maybe there's another Crystal. That's Crystal. That's Crystal, yeah, and we know it's you. Okay, um, it sounds like you, Crystal, have ideas about your character that are different from your character's ideas about herself or himself, right? Um, she's such a, she's, how do I weaken her? How do I, for, how do I form her into the shape that I have of her in my mind, right? I'm hearing things different than what I think I should be hearing. So what you need to do, Crystal, is um, get out of your own way and just write it down as it's coming to you. And if she needs to be quote unquote weakened later on, we can work on that, you know. But you're only a few pages in and what you need to do is just write. Get to, like we always say, get to the end and then rewrite it. You're writing and rewriting it at the same time and that just makes it more difficult. Is that helpful, Crystal? I hope so. We love you. We miss you. Ah, happy day, life saving time. <laughs> it is, it was a day for us, yeah, it was. That was a great day. That was like fantastic. I want it with another one. I want, I want one every week. Okay. <laughs> Right. <laughs> sure, and we can give them to, well, you know, there are a lot of people who, well, I don't know, who don't need, like, hey, I don't need a lot of time. I don't need time to do that. People who, I don't know who they are, but. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. This woman in there. I'm going to Go. What's your name? My name is Bianca. Bianca? Yeah. Okay. Hi. that 
will have some things that happen. Like he comes home, there's a shit storm, and he is calm, cool, and collected. And he wants everybody to be okay with that. This is who I am right now. You know what I mean? So you need to find scenes that, that show that instead of just him going, I want everybody to accept me as I am. I mean, that's kind of one note, right? Um, he might say that during the course of the play. Is it a play or a screenplay? Or it's a play. He might say that during the course of the play, but um, you want to show it, right, Bianca? So, so we want to see different moments where he is actively pursuing that, thank you, Phil, actively pursuing that want. Okay, so when I say, what do your characters want? What do, what do they want? And what are they doing to get it? So he's detaching, and we want to, you want to see him do that, for example. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, it's, and, and what about the, there's a wife character? Yes. Okay, she so. Feels, she feels, um, she, and she marries him, but she doesn't feel like that. Mm -hmm. they, they pretend as if they're happy go lucky, but some, some of the comments you said, you can tell that, oh, so they were pretending, so why would you say that? Right. And around there, they have mom and two They have a daughter and a son. Right. And around that, that's where they don't want to do it pretending. Right. But sometimes they get caught off guard with the comments that they say. Right. Okay, and that's what you're saying. So. Right. The wife confronts him, and she even asks him, what do you want? Why is this, what are you doing, what do you want? And right. he doesn't 